Oh, I forgot how intimidating this is. Oh, don't be. <laughs> No, it's just like Soccer AM, it's just with ladies. Yeah, yeah, all right. yeah. yeah. Do, do you miss Soccer AM? Uh, I kind of miss talking about football, but yeah. no, I, I, you know, I'm doing Sunday brunch now, so yeah. I enjoy doing do you know it. You I can't work a... Saturdays and Sunday. You are appointment to view in our house. Oh, oh thank you yeah. very much. I watch you in bed. Oh, oh really? <laughs> I do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're great, by the thank way. Thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> was it as amazing for you as it was for her? This yeah. is fantastic. Yeah, what Can are you we wear? just get football out of the way? Go on, then. Oh, yeah. Because hot news just in is that Russia has been given a suspended disqualification. <clears throat> yeah. Euros. Yeah. Now I sound like someone from your I know, yeah. It's very it's topical, about Janet. Russia has been given this suspended disqualification. So do you think that England might go the same way? Uh I hope not, but I do think they need to do something about it because mm. the last thing we want is to, you know, people travelling over there to watch football to end up in football violence. It sounds like it was ho horrific Red out news. there for, for, for everyone involved out there. And, and I just think they need to do something about it. So if we have to be chucked out of the tournament because of it, then so be it. We need to stop the, the football well, violence. Well, they can't call themselves fans and behave that way. No, they're um, not fans, are they? I mean, they set mm. out to go over and... But don't that. you have this sense of it's all happened before and that this time the football authorities are making an example because of what's happened in the past? I think they're scared because the World Cup's in Russia. Yes. In 2018. And, and obviously we've, people are going to travel from all over the world out to Russia. And if that football violence is still there, it's going to be dangerous for people. And, yeah. you know, uh, football's not in a great state, is it, with FIFA at the moment? And then yeah. we, we need this to be a great tournament. And so far on the pitch, it's been fantastic. Yeah, yeah. England have looked all right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Colleen's yeah. watched every game. I've watched what? every game. They every can't believe game. it. Yeah. I every sit every on, single like, game. Like, I'm it's in London like on my own. I sat choice. in the hotel yesterday <laughs> and watched games on my own. And these two were like... Why? No. I feel like you're, I you're Rob's dream girl. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. You may as well so know now. So who's going to win then? Who's going to win? Oh, Italy look know. good, didn't Italy they? Italy do look good. Well, I know. I don't. I'm. You know. I'm still. Take a small I'm commercial. still <laughs> rooting for Ireland. Rooting for England. Yeah. Okay. I, I hate the pessim pessimism around yeah. the England team. We're all. Yeah, but we're all oh, so used you know. to it. Do you take your girls to matches at all? Do you feel safe doing that? Yeah. No. I. I do always. I take them to Stamford Bridge, but they don't really like it that much. And do they watch footy with you? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. they're, t they're teenagers, so they wander off and look at iPads and stuff and like that. You're garbage. an incredibly hands-on dad, and this is something that you feel really passionately about. And I can understand where you're, where you're coming from. I'm a, a, a divorced parent, and obviously um, it is difficult. When a, when a father is used to kissing his children goodnight every night and then suddenly they're not seeing them for a fortnight or every other Wednesday or whatever the agreement is, do you think it, it, it should be made that it is normal that parental duties are spread 50-50 rather yeah. than it being an unusual thing, like well, it's in your case. Yeah, well, when I yeah when I split up with my, when my wife and my ex-wife and me split up, I yeah. suddenly realised going to solicitors that men weren't perceived as equal in a relationship. Mm -hmm. And so I, I think it's well known that I went and made a documentary about it mm -hmm. in the end. And I was really strong on father's rights. I used to write to MPs and all that stuff. And during the documentary, I suddenly realised that it wasn't about father's rights at all. It's about children's rights. Mm. It's about the children's right to see both parents. Yeah. And then one step further, um, I got involved with the uh, Fatherhood Institute. And there's a lot of women involved in the Fatherhood yep. Institute. And I realised that actually it's not just about children's rights. It's about everybody's rights in the family. And the problem we've got at the moment is uh, society sees it that women look after children, men earn money. And that's mm -hmm. how the, 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 the uh, legal system looks at it and everybody looks yeah. at it and society looks at it like that. What we need to do, and the Fatherhood Institute is very big on this, is we need to share the caring and share the earning so that I've got three daughters, I don't want them to grow up and they get to the stage where they think, I want to have children, but if yeah. I have children, I have to sacrifice my career. Yeah. And I know for a fact when women have children and they've got a career, and they want to go back to work, they feel really guilty about it because mm. society still looks at them and says, mm. do you know what, you're not allowed to have a career. Mm. So it's for men and for women yeah. and for everyone. And I just think as a society, I mean, we can try and um, do as much legislation as possible, get laws and stuff, but it's a society we have to I start going. I agree, yeah. And just quickly, we are behind the rest of the world in this. Mm. Well, not the rest of the world, but the developed world. Yeah. Mm. Scandinavia is just assumed that you know, men and women are just going to join in. And this is whether you're split up or together in a family. Yeah. And, and, and I just think, you oh, know... Oh, so, right, so even over there, if you've split up, the father's still got the same rights as... It's not about uh, rights, it's about expectations, I think. Yeah. That, that, this is where I Making think it's Making it a societal important. norm rather than... Yeah, so if, right. you, so if you are a parent, 
you know, I, I sort of I struggle with the words mother and father because it immediately means you earn, you look mm -hmm. after kids. But if yeah. you are a parent and you're preventing another parent from seeing the child, then society should be looking at that parent and going, that's not really that's fair not on that fair. child. Yeah, absolutely. And child. why do you think that we are behind here, you know, in comparison to these countries? I don't, that's a really good. Re I, I don't know. That's a really good question. I don't have a good answer for yeah. that. Okay. Apart from every time I speak to anyone in the legal system, they keep on talking about talking in circles. And yeah, yeah. I just want to ask you quickly about the campaign you've got going about talking uh, reading to children. It's Fathers Institute running this campaign. Yeah, yeah. Um, about it's called Fred. Fathers read every day. You can look at it on their uh, on yeah. their website. But it's an important thing about getting dads involved in mm. in their in their children. This is whether you're separated or not. Yeah. And, and a chance to every time you see your child to read to them. I mean, I think it's the best thing ever, reading mm, to my kids. Of course. Kids. Oh, yeah. I love doing it last thing at night. And I, my, my daughter, Jamie, at the moment, when she's with me, she comes in, she gives me a book first thing in the morning. And we, How old is she? She's three. We were reading the um, Animal Encyclopedia this morning. I used to find bed, <laughs> bedtime reading. I'd be reading on one eye, you know, going like that. But, yeah. no, I, I do know what you mean. And, do you know, regardless, again, you're using the word fathers reading every day. It's just parents reading every yeah. day, isn't it? Yeah. Just it, getting yeah. involved. It, it is, get yeah. Involved. It is. And parents should look at their children and think, they need both parents. There's plenty more where that came from. Just click here to watch more interviews with a whole range of famous faces. And click here to subscribe. It's free, so you'd be silly not to, really. When do you decide, Grace, or how do you decide what days you want to dress up? I tend to dress or... up when other people dress up. You know, yeah. like, if you're going to get dressed up for, you know, for a thing like this, you might put on something special. Or if you're going out in the evening and everybody is going to put on a nice dress, you know, then that's when I'll put on a dress, you know. It's like you do it to add to the jollity of the occasion.